to get away with it. But uh, another big, solid fight, I don't think he should. A rematch, he shouldn't. A rematch should should happen maybe sometime summer of next year if he, if he wants a rematch. If Haney fights Tank, who wins? Haney beats Tank. Haney beats Tank if they fight. Yeah, I know. Boxing is a wild sport. Why, why do you say that? In what just area does him. Haney... Beats him out of just pure uh, volume and just knows how to use his reach good. Tank will try to hurt him, but I don't think Tank could. Uh, Tank won't get to Haney. Uh, definitely Haney will beat Tank. Gervonta Davis has finally shared his thoughts on a potential rematch with Ryan Garcia set to take place at 147 pounds. Fresh off his recent triumph, Ryan Garcia is ablaze with intensity. In a spontaneous outburst, he has directly challenged Gervonta Davis, the sole blemish on his otherwise flawless record. Davis isn't staying mum either. With tensions rising, it's safe to declare that the lightweight division has just been injected with a potent dose of excitement. Garcia, once the underdog, orchestrated a jaw-dropping upset against the undefeated champion Devin Haney. But the adrenaline-fueled drama doesn't end there. Gervonta Davis, a champion in his weight class, stirred up excitement with some sizzling social media remarks leading up to the bout. Haney appeared unbeatable, boasting the belt, a flawless record, and purportedly a size advantage over Garcia. However, despite Garcia's weight mishap rendering him ineligible to seize the championship, he astounded the world. He sent Haney tumbling to the canvas thrice during the match, showcasing remarkable grit and unexpected power. Garcia's distinct style and unwavering determination ultimately clinched him a resounding victory on points. The surprising triumph took everyone by surprise, injecting an electrifying energy into the scene. Analysts scrambled to adjust their rankings while fans ignited a frenzy of excitement online. Suddenly, the lightweight division appeared to be a wide-open battleground. Amidst the lingering excitement, Gervonta Davis, renowned for his knockout prowess and outspoken nature, seized the moment. Taking to Twitter, he unleashed a barrage of verbal jabs aimed squarely at Haney and his father, who stood by in support. Davis's tweets were a potent blend of taunts and personal digs, relishing in Haney's downfall and even taking swipes at Ryan Garcia's recent challenge. The initial tweet took a direct swipe at Haney and his father, disregarding Devin's coach Bill by calling him Dirt, a nickname some fans use. Davis seemed to mock Haney's corner and their tactics, but Davis didn't halt there. He delivered a broad insult to Haney's supporters, disdainfully referring to them as deriding ass people. This disrespectful remark aimed to belittle those who have supported Haney throughout his career. I need to know. I'm, I, I called you. To, I, I, I've been reaching out to you to let you know. I ain't never had nothing against you. When did me and you go wrong? When did, when did me and you start having beef? He was going to show me what you can do with Tank. You always kept telling me, Tank, 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 you see what I can do with Tank. Listen, brother, you see what I didn't deal with my son? That if you really, you, that's what you really been whispering. But when you went to go talk and do the deal, it wasn't something that, that he felt like that he wanted to get no monthly. He wanted to be a boss. We found ourselves in a swirl of speculation regarding Ryan Garcia's online behavior. And now it appears that another contender has stepped into the fray. Amidst the flurry of Davis's bold statements, both champions have engaged in a spirited exchange on social media, igniting a fiery rivalry fueled by their contrasting styles. Davis, the aggressive puncher, and Haney, the technical boxer, have captivated fans with their ongoing banter, building anticipation for a potential showdown between these two titans of the ring. For Garcia's fans, this victory marks an epic comeback, just last year, he faced his inaugural professional defeat against none other than Gervonta Davis. That loss was a bitter pill to swallow, but Garcia has rebounded in remarkable fashion. Not only has he silenced his critics, but he has also solidified his position as a significant contender in the lightweight division. Both Haney and Garcia are eager for a rematch. Despite Haney's recent defeat, he's determined to show he can best Garcia. On the other hand, Garcia claims he's the true champion since Haney missed weight, demanding a title rematch. This dispute has emboldened Garcia to challenge Davis once more. The constant back and forth intensifies the drama, leaving all three fighters hungry to assert their worth. However, revisiting Garcia and Davis, it's evident that Garcia has honed his style since their last encounter. For those tracking Garcia's journey, this victory isn't merely unexpected. It showcases a masterful display of adaptation. Since his narrow bout with Gervonta Davis two years prior, 
Garcia has undergone a notable evolution, diligently confronting his shortcomings and ascending as a champion. Let's analyze the particular enhancements Garcia implemented that proved pivotal in the Haney bout. Garcia's clash with Davis served as a stark reminder of his defensive shortcomings, as the season Davis capitalized on Garcia's habit of remaining stationary, delivering potent blows. However, in this rematch, Garcia showcased a wholly transformed strategy. He integrated precise head movements, rendering himself a much more evasive target for Haney's jab-centric approach. Davis acknowledged that Canelo's training had paid dividends, evident in his refined footwork which enabled him to maintain mobility and evade cornering. This newfound defensive prowess was conspicuous throughout the bout. Garcia, once a stationary target, showcased a dynamic style continually shifting to thwart Haney's attempts at landing clean shots. A pivotal aspect of Garcia's evolved strategy was his newfound patience. Unlike before, where he often lunged for the knockout, leaving himself vulnerable to counters, Garcia demonstrated remarkable composure, especially in the early exchanges with Haney. He relinquished some control early on, utilizing his improved footwork to disrupt Haney's jab-heavy offense. This patience not only conserved his energy for the later rounds, but also disrupted Haney's rhythm, tilting the bout in Garcia's favor. Garcia's strategic finesse thwarted Haney's expectations, prompting him to overanalyze his approach. This allowed Garcia to capitalize on openings for his offense as the fight progressed. While Garcia's trademark left hook remained formidable, his tactics against Haney transcended mere brute force. Employing feints and refined footwork, he artfully laid traps, culminating in the decisive knockdowns in the 7th and 11th rounds. The evolution of Garcia's strategy was evident as he seamlessly disguised his left hook, catching Haney off guard and flooring him with precision. This all in act, what mm -hmm. part of it was real? Tell us about it. Uh, I mean, my, my cameraman Chance, Ajay's there. Um, hey, we have it pre-recorded months ago. What did I say it was going to happen? I said, I'm about to make sure everybody thinks I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Why? Wow, this is going to be the call the great escape. Like, I have it all documented. I was already planning it, uh, you know, weeks and weeks and months behind. This wasn't merely a demonstration of sheer strength. It stood as a testament to tactical ingenuity, surpassing mere technical advancements. Garcia unveiled not only a notable enhancement in his skills, but also a profound shift in mindset, a transformation even acknowledged by Davis himself. In his bout with Davis, Garcia appeared to falter under overwhelming pressure. However, this time he maintained composure and poise throughout the match. Even in the face of early setbacks and knockdowns from Haney, Garcia remained unfazed. Instead of dampening his spirits, these challenges only served to bolster his confidence and unwavering resolve. The bedrock of mental resilience is an essential element for every victor, and Garcia appears to possess it in abundance. Speculations circulated prior to the match regarding the potential impact of social media pressures and personal challenges on Garcia's psyche. Yet he quashed those doubts emphatically, demonstrating his adeptness at navigating pressure and rising to the occasion. Garcia's triumph over Haney marks the pinnacle of his commitment and strategic growth. He's confronted his shortcomings head on, emerging as a more complete and formidable fighter. This victory propels him into the spotlight of the super lightweight division, making him a formidable force. Should Davis accept Garcia's challenge, the dynamics could become riveting. Ryan Garcia transcends his flashy prospect image. He's now a champion who's gleaned lessons from his past, conquered mental hurdles, and is poised to dominate the present. Yet, amidst Garcia's triumph over Devin Haney, showcasing remarkable improvement, it's imperative to acknowledge that every fighter has areas to refine. Before calling out opponents like Tank Davis, Garcia must refine the lingering weaknesses in his game. Despite securing an impressive victory, doubts linger regarding Garcia's endurance. Though his patience notably improved, fatigue crept in during the later rounds raising concerns for future bouts against relentless opponents. Sustaining a consistent pace throughout the match will be vital, not simply reducing punch frequency, but executing strategic energy bursts followed by calculated recovery periods. Garcia must refine his in-fight pacing approach to sustain his energy and assert dominance throughout a championship bout, 
rather than merely enduring it. While Garcia's left hook unquestionably packs a powerful punch, over-reliance on this single technique risks predictability for upcoming adversaries. Diversifying his offensive tactics to include a variety of body shots, uppercuts, and combinations would render him a more adaptable and enigmatic contender. This entails more than just discarding his trademark punch. Instead, it involves integrating it into a varied offensive repertoire. Garcia must evolve into a tactically astute offensive force, transcending the reliance on a single knockout blow. While Garcia showcased commendable patience against Haney, confronting a future opponent with a more aggressive counterpunching style could present a formidable challenge. Although his improved footwork was advantageous, there were still occasions where he was vulnerable to counters while advancing with strikes. It is imperative for Garcia to cultivate superior counter-attacking skills and head movement, especially when facing adept counter-punchers, to avoid being caught off guard and potentially suffering a knockout defeat. Garcia's journey to master the art of outmaneuvering counterpunchers while predicting their moves and unsettling their rhythm remains a work in progress. Although his mental resilience has notably strengthened, the demands of championship status and relentless media attention present a long-haul challenge rather than a quick sprint. Crafting tactics to uphold concentration and cognitive sharpness during his training camps and fight weeks will prove vital to prevent regression. Garcia must cultivate mental techniques to remain steadfast in his objectives and resist being swayed by the demands of championship status. Although Garcia exhibited commendable patience, instances arose where the desire for a knockout appeared to cloud his discernment. Such occurrences might prompt him to overly engage in attacks, leaving him vulnerable to counterattacks. Mastering the delicate art of blending the hunger for a spectacular finish with tactical assertiveness will prove instrumental in optimizing his performance while reducing the chances of vulnerability. It doesn't entail relinquishing his captivating fighting flair. Rather, it necessitates striking a harmony between dazzling displays and strategic victory pursuits. And let's not overlook Garcia's magnetic charm and substantial social media fan base. While this spotlight can offer advantages, it's vital to steer clear of becoming ensnared in the frenzy. Sustaining a healthy equilibrium between his public persona and unwavering commitment to training stands as pivotal for his enduring triumphs. Focusing on continual skill enhancement and maintaining humility will ensure that Ryan Garcia's legacy transcends mere online presence. While Garcia's victory over Devin Haney marked a significant advancement, he may encounter an even greater challenge in the formidable Gervonta Tank Davis. Overall, the talks of the rematch between Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia at 147 pounds adds another chapter to their rivalry and promises to deliver an electrifying showdown for boxing fans worldwide. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.